Oh, just had a little bit more proximity that, that got him to win overall. Vernon obviously thinking that yeah, it wasn't quite enough and with his wobble that he, he would have preferred to see it go one more time. But uh, two to one, Zachary goes through. There you go, so Zachary moving through. And he's got, he always comes good at the end of a Riga weekend. Yeah. And here we have a one more time battle between Correa and Vasiliauskas. No one could win this one the first time around. A lot of smoke, a lot of angle, a lot of action. But what I want to look at now is, well, who's going to take it home? Who's going to take it home? One of these guys needs to go through to the top 16. We're almost not the one half of the bracket. Diogo Correa couldn't get it done in the first half against Vasiliaskas. Now, what we're going to see, Diogo Correa needs to lay down a perfect lead line. All fires in, but drops out of the outside zone once again. And Vasiliaskas is there. Transition's way too early. Can he hold on to it? He's going to definitely try to as they come down into outside zone four through the smoke early again look at that front wheel off the tarmac for Vasiliaskas as he puts down all the power until dives up onto the door they go wheel to wheel look at this from Vasiliaskas he knows what he needs to do as he absolutely wears Diogo Correa <laughs> that was wild from Andreas Vasiliaskas I think he hit Correa about five times around that corner just pushing him around the corner Correa gets wide at the start of outer zone one but he doesn't stay wide and Vasiliaskas gets pushed on the inside of the track he's got a decision to make that transition early I think you could probably say that wasn't Vasiliaskas decision at that point but he is so aggressive from there on out Vasiliaskas you know, diving through the smoke big you know lurches forward like big moves like this and throws it in and right about here he says I'm just going to absolutely smash it off the track and look at this on the door of Correa the whole way around an unbelievable proximity Correa knows he's got his work cut out here now Correa knows that he needs to be absolutely glued to the side of uh, a silly Askus and you know what I'm going to take that I'm going to retract the statement I said he crashed into him a few times I don't never touch him he was so close I actually couldn't believe he didn't hit him that's, yeah, that's, that's proximity at its very best. Now, Vasily Askas, for me, didn't have the perfect lead line in the first half of the battle. I think he was just trying to drive away from Diogo Correa. Correa knows the pace now for Vasily Askas' car. This one's going to be a tail of two tasks. Here we go. Starline lights up. We'll see one tail like this. One back here. Missing. Diogo Correa looks to chase down Vasily Askas. They come through the chicane and down. You can see Vasily Askas hammer down, trying to drive away already. Diogo Correa goes for the back bumper straight away. Times the transition. The initiation absolutely perfect. Oh, Vasily Askas goes way wide. Now he's thrown off that perfect qualifying line. Vasily Askas is going to be playing catch up now as Diogo Correa dives through the smoke. Correa looking at a wounded Vasily Askas goes for the door once again. Correa just needs to hold on to it. Vasily Askas way out of outside zone of six again. Yeah, the lead run is what's going to decide this one for Vasily Askas and he went off the track. I'm going to question was it two wheels off the track and a zero. He was way off. I'm, I'm going to go out there and say I think it definitely was two wheels off the track which would score him a zero on that run and regardless of what happened in the other Correa would get the advantage let's have a look at this look at the rear wheels did he go over that white line with both rear wheels of City Ascus? it looks to me like he did go way way off so that is going to be a zero Correa doing well to avoid it the white line is the extreme of the track and at this point he's uh, three wheels off the track never mind two wheels off the track so that was a zero in. <laughs> yeah I mean pretty, pretty plain there Dave pretty yeah. uh, black and white and I think Even, look Vasily uh, you know, knows it Vasiliaskas knows it. It happens though, even to the best. And at this point in time, it's going to be Diogo Correa going from Portugal, going through to the top 16. And that is a great finish to his weekend after having engine failure, after buying an engine locally, building an engine in the paddock, getting back out today. He's now gone to the top 16. That's a reward for his team and his perseverance. Vasiliaskas, I just don't think he got enough laps in. I think he just didn't get enough laps in on the track this weekend. And he was, uh, he was it was an uphill battle. Moving it on, championship contender, Benedictus Cherba.